Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I want to have a look at tweezers, but they aren't your everyday diamond painting tweezers. So when you receive your diamond painting kit, you will always get a pen. Most of the time it will be pink, like this one. Sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're clear and have uh, little sparkles in them but they're all basically the same. It's a plastic straw and a tip which if you wiggle it you can take off and this is the main part. This is uh, the part that picks up the drills. So you have a little hole in here you fill it up with pink wax and the wax picks the drills up from your tray. You can take them out, you can push them back in. Um, so these always come in the kits. Now if you get a kit that has square drills, you will probably get a set or you should get a set of tweezers as well as the pen. Most people use pens to put the drills down. Some people use tweezers. So I've been using tweezers for quite a long time now um, but I thought I would have a look at what else may be an option uh, rather than just the, the ones that we get in the kits. So just to give you an idea, um, the ones that I prefer if I get them in the kits is this type of thing. They are made of metal and they're very sturdy. They are very sharp, they go to a real point at the tip and this is the style that I prefer. I don't like the soft, um, cheap tin ones, uh, the silver ones that you sometimes get. But a lot of companies give decent tweezers. Um, these are the sort of standard shape I would say. Um, you will find that you get them from companies and sometimes they brand them. So I have this one here from Evermoment. But if you look at it, it is basically the same thing. <clears throat> so, ever moment of do them branded. Um, Diamond Art Club, <clears throat> they do theirs branded as well. So you can see the name. Um, but they've sort of taken things a little bit further. And instead of just having black, they, they now have this uh, fade from pink to white, which is a little bit different. But again, they are very pointed. <clears throat> so um, this is the sort of style that I like. When I was um, getting all these tweezers out I actually realised that Diamond Dark Club do two different styles uh, which I hadn't noticed. So we have the long ones and we have these shorter ones that are a little bit different here. So uh, something that I just hadn't picked up on. And then uh, another one that's branded Create Love Share. Um, which is the company uh, that I bought the diamond painting that I'm working on at the moment sitting under here and I will be working on it as I test these new tweezers that I just got. So Create Love Share, another company that do the good uh, quality tweezers and we've got Spell Queen, again um, metal tweezers. These have a glossy finish uh, all the rest are matte, but these have a, a shiny glossy finish, but again, very sharp, very pointed. And uh, going back to the generic, we have this style, um, the gooseneck. So some people prefer the tweezers to be like this. Um, it's not a style that I use. So... Uh, just letting you see something else that you may get. Um, the ones that I use <coughs> all the time are these, uh, quite bling. Um, I can't remember which company I got these. These came as standard in a kit and when I saw them I thought these are different and I've been using them ever since. So I am the man with the golden tweezers. So as I said, um, I was thinking about this whole tweezer thing and I know that if you use pens you can get custom pens and you can get them made of wood, you can get them all, all different colours and styles and things but when it comes to tweezers um, you're pretty limited. So I went on Amazon and I just typed in tweezers 
and thought, I wonder if I can find anything that might work with diamond painting. So I picked three different styles and they are very different from each other. So the first one <coughs> is this little pack. It comes with three. So we'll have a look and just see how they compare. Oh, a bag within a bag. Just see how they compare to the ones that we normally use uh, that we get in the kits. If I can open it, there we go. I think I'll just look at one. I'll go for the, the bright yellow, I think. So they're all the same, it's just three different colours. So bright yellow, um, I've never seen them come in any diamond painting kit. Again, very sharp. Uh, again, I was always looking for this type because I know that I like the sharp points. These are even sharper, I think, than the ones that we normally use. Um, just to compare them, um, I'll take the sort of generic black. And you can see that these are quite a bit wider where you hold them. So I don't know if that would be a benefit to anybody. Um, they're not as narrow. Um, but they feel the same. They're, they're solid. And you have to give a little bit of a push to squeeze them. Which actually gives you much more control when you're picking up uh, the drills. So they feel good. I mean, there's... Um, I think the wide section actually does actually make them feel a bit better but basically same idea as them different shape wider bit more to grip onto so initial uh, impression I like them um, I'm pretty confident they're going to work but I will be testing all of them a bit later so that's the first one now the second one is definitely different and the reason that this really is different is because these are reverse tweezers. So normally with tweezers, you squeeze it to... It'd be better if I took the cap off. Um, you squeeze it to pick up the drill and you release it to drop it. These tweezers are the opposite. <clears throat> they stay closed and you squeeze them to open them. So I was thinking for people who it's maybe a strain having to hold the tweezers closed to move a drill. Maybe tweezers that once you've picked it up they actually hold on. Um, might be a better option. So I saw them. I've never tried anything like this before. The whole concept of uh, squeezing to release um, is new to me. So it's going to be interesting trying them. So these are the sort of gooseneck. It actually does look like a bird when I looked at it. it looks like the wings here. I never noticed that before. Um, they've got... Yeah, it's rubber. Um, these rubber inserts to make it a bit more comfortable. But I do notice that I have to press quite a bit harder uh, than I do with the, the normal tweezers. So, we'll see. Again, they're made of steel. Um, they're not plastic. And they are very sharp. Don't come with a protective cap. So, you'd have to be careful where they sit. You wouldn't want them sitting like that and somebody accidentally puts their hand on them or you drop them on the floor and somebody stands on them. That would not be good. But, um, yeah. Uh, definitely different. That's going to be interesting. Then the last one <coughs> is definitely different. These are tweezers that come with a magnifying glass and a light. So if you struggle to see where you're placing drills, this sounds like it would be ideal. Um, if you don't have a light pad, you uh, could benefit from the light that's built in. Um, so 
that is going to be a very interesting one. I'm already trying to figure out how I'm going to show this, but I think it'll work okay. Um, <clears throat> the lens I thought was glass, but it is actually um, plastic. But um, the fact that it's plastic means you need to be careful that nothing scratches the lens because if you get a score on that, um, it will mark it and you won't be able to fix it. So you would need to be a bit more careful with this, not just sort of uh, leaving it lying around and letting it rub against stuff. Um, it could end up making it all foggy. So <clears throat> we'll have a look at it. So you can see 4.5 times magnification. We'll find out what that looks like later when I try it. This does come with uh, protectors and... Oh no, yeah it does. I wonder what that was there. It's a little U-shaped uh, piece of rubber to stop anybody stabbing themselves accidentally, so that's a good idea. Just trying to get it out of the actual case. That's pretty tight. There we go. So this is it. It has a little thing here that says pull. That is because the batteries for the light are inside here and it won't work until we pull. And then we've got the light. So this is adjustable. So you can see if I take the magnifying glass back and then put it forward. The further back you come, the higher the magnification is, you can see. And the closer you go, the less the magnification is. Um try to there you go. I was sort of wondering how to switch it off. So it's just this little uh, dial on the back. Turn it forward, it goes on. It's pretty bright. Back is off. So if you uh, are using a light pad, you won't need an extra light. So you can switch it off and just use uh, the magnifying glass. So a little U-shaped piece of rubber that I'm sure is going to get lost pretty quickly. But it's nice that they've got it, um, so you don't accidentally pierce your fingers. So, I uh, didn't put that on right. Um, that is going to be the most interesting one for me. Also trying to get the cap back on is uh, not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Okay, that's it. So... Definitely the most unusual uh, tweezers that I have seen. So it's going to be interesting stuff. So we've got that one. We have that one. And we have that one. So all that's left to do now is to try them and see how they compare against the normal tweezers that I would use for diamond painting. Okay, so now the moment of truth. Um, I'm going to try the yellow ones first. So take the cap off, remember where I put it, and we'll give it a go. So as I said, I use tweezers um, all the time now for square drills. I did use them for rounds as well for a while. Um, and then depending on the, the round drills, sometimes they're very shallow at the edges. And I was finding that um, they were difficult to pick up with the tweezers. Well, they would slide off um, more than a light. So I thought, okay, I'll just use a pen. So for rounds, I use a pen. For squares, I use tweezers. And there's, there's a little bar on that one. Let me take that out. Um, I've used tweezers for quite a long time. So I'll just put that one back in. 
When I do uh, diamond painting, I'm always looking for these little burrs. I missed that one, but I knew as soon as I put the drill down, it meant to move it into place, it wouldn't move. There was a tiny little bar on the drill underneath, so I just took it out and threw it in the, the trash tray. So I always make sure that the edges are clean. That's really important. It doesn't matter if they go in a little bit, um, it's if anything sticks out because it starts to push the drills around it and everything else starts to get knocked out of shape so really important that they're, they're nice and clean so um, I'm just thinking how they feel don't really notice any difference uh, I do like the fact that they're a bit wider where you grip so I can comfortably sit both fingers behind um, so the they feel fine. Um, in use, they feel pretty much the same as the ones that I use. I think I'm maybe pressing very slightly harder to pick up the drills, but nothing much. Um, the problem that most people find when they try to use uh, tweezers is that the drills ping away. And that is because you're using too much pressure. If you press hard and you get the drill, any slight movement at all and the drill will shoot away and um, that is what happened the very first time i tried to use tweezers um, i kept getting them in the kits and i finally thought okay i'm going to try and use these it was the cheap tweezers the the silver ones that you get that are very very soft and because they're very soft you have to squeeze a bit harder to actually try and pick up a drill at the time i never realized that and i managed to pick up a drill it was moving over to place it and it pinged away and I never found it again. Um, and as soon as that happened I thought, oh, forget this, and I went back to a pen. Much later, um, I was uh, working on a kit from Diamond Dots and it was round drills and it had a lot of ABs. Now, AB drills have a special coating on them. Uh, the AB stands for Aurora Borealis because the special coating reflects different colours and they look really cool but if you use uh, a normal pen with the pink wax it happens quite a lot that the pink wax actually sticks to that coating and you find that the pink wax gets pulled out of the pen when you're trying to place them so I had seen a lot of people comment on that and I thought, okay, I've got a lot of ABs, I'm going to use tweezers. So I persevered and gradually got better at it. There were a lot of ABs and um, by the time I finished that diamond painting, it was quite a big one. Um, by the time I'd finished it, I was picking up drills without thinking and... I thought, well, why just use it for ABs? Because when I was doing that one, I was using ABs, uh, sorry, I was using tweezers for the ABs and then putting the tweezers down and using a pen for the normal drills. And then I thought, why am I doing that? So I just started using tweezers all the time. And that was on round. So when I went to my first square after that, it was just so much easier to pick them up than it had been. And um, I've been using tweezers for, I don't know, um, quite a long time now. I think the more you use them, the more you get used to them. Like dropping a drill, you see I dropped one there. I mean, it's not that I don't drop them, but the thing is they don't ping across the room because I'm not squeezing the drill hard enough for it to do that. All that happens is it falls and I just pick it up from the glue and put it where I want it. So these tweezers, um, absolutely perfect um, no problems at all they're really nice and sturdy they are even sharper I think than the ones I use I'm just going to have a quick look so no they're probably about the same but um, they feel and sound <laughs> the same but you can see we've got this wider part here compared to these I actually prefer that. I, I like that wider part. Um, so, yeah, they are a definite yes. Uh, no problems with them at all. They feel very comfortable. So, 
definite pass. Now the interesting one. Um, even looking at them, they, they, it just looks weird doing that. But um, I definitely have to press them harder to get them to release. Which may not be a bad thing because once you pick the drill up, you don't need to. You're not going to accidentally drop it because you really need to press it. With this one, I was thinking about people that maybe squeezing their drill or holding the drill um, maybe um, painful. Maybe if you've got arthritis. Now the thing, thinking about that, this may actually be worse because you have to press pretty hard. So I don't know. Um, I'll give it a try. Uh, never ever used in like this before. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. They squeeze far, far too hard. I hadn't actually thought about that. Okay, the first one I picked up shot across the room. I've got this one, but the tension in it, I can feel it. Um, if I squeeze it and drop it, and then I can let it go and use the tweezer to manipulate it. Um, yeah, that first one really shot away, so... I think this would take a, a lot of practice to get used to. I feel like I have to press really pretty hard to get the drill. Now I've got it, I'm still trying to squeeze it and then that's what happened. Luckily it only landed there. I don't know if this would be a practice thing because I'm trying to hold the tweezers like I would hold tweezers. I don't need to. Um, just. Might be better used holding them sideways and doing it this way. Um, I'll give it a try again. Now that's stuck on the glue. I've picked it up, put it down, and pushed the drill above it out. So, yeah, this is uh, too fiddly, I would say. You would need to actually drop the drill above where you want to put it because when you try and squeeze it, um, it tends to want to open really far and it's going to hit the drills either side. So I would say this is a no. I'm trying on another one. Uh, what's it doing? X. So do that. Release it. Even that is kind of difficult. And try it again. I'm, I'm getting better at picking them up though. So I don't know, maybe, no, no I'm not, because I'm, I'm still squeezing the tweezers, it's just habit to do that, it's when I let them go, that's when I find out if it's holding right, and it is that time, so if I drop it, and then I can just move it, Um, yeah, the, to me this is not going to work, it's far too awkward, already I'm starting to feel um, strain in my fingers, because you have to press it really hard and I'm tending to still hold on to it while I'm uh, moving the drill and I have to let it go completely and that's when it puts full pressure on the tip and that's when the drill pings if it's going to ping um, just too awkward so um, this is a, a definite fail for me definitely looks like a stock though um, yeah that's, that's a fail um, I would not recommend them now we go for the, the fancy gadget. So take the the U piece off. Remember where I put it. And because I've got the light um, and the light pad, I don't need uh, to switch the light on. Now I'm thinking, is that magnifying glass going to get in the way? Um, probably. So I'll lift it up a bit so I can actually see what I'm picking up. I was about to do the, the opposite there, um, just using those other tweezers for that length of time. Um, so I dropped it. Now the thing is, I'm doing this and I'm not even looking at the magnif magnifying glass. So I'm going to have to change something about how I hold it. Um, I have to think about this because 
yeah it's not going to work because this is kind of far up the table so I'm sitting sort of looking at this from the side if I was directly over the top of it I would be able to use it so practically it isn't going to work um, it said that these were for craft and splinter removal it said everything from craft to splinter removal <clears throat> the problem is trying to get it underneath the magnifying glass so I'm just trying to check something Mm. Yeah, I can't figure out because really I want this magnifying glass round this way a bit. I would need to rethink how I actually place the drills and that's going to be really awkward trying to do them like this way. It's not going to work. So the viewing angle for the lens is here. I'm sitting here. Doesn't work. I think I would need to sit and try and figure out how to do that. If this had been on a bendy arm or even on a swivel that I could swing it round, it would be fine. So you can see the tip there. Let's have a look at the magnification. I'll switch that light off. So even then the tweezers were getting in the way. But I was just curious, so well, you can see it magnifies quite a bit. Because I was thinking for people, no, uh, hang on, I'm thinking still. You would need to be over it, that's the thing. You would need to be totally over to use it. If you're working on a very small diamond painting where it's close to you, it might work. Um, I'm trying to lean up the table basically to get over this so I'll pick up a drill and we'll see if I can angle it there's a drill and then I'm looking for an X so when the drill isn't I didn't pick the drill up straight um, yeah it's it's too awkward not going to work unless you're looking directly over. Now this diamond painting is 40 by something. Yeah, 40 by 60. And this is about midway. So I'm basically one and a half panels up into the two and a half panels. Um, so once you get past the point that you're looking straight down, um, it's not going to work. I can't see a way to adjust the magnifying glass to get it in the right position it doesn't turn around that I can see um, pretty fixed the way it's set up so yeah good idea would come in handy for some things where you're looking directly down on something um, would be handy for getting splinters out as well because you can really magnify um, because I was thinking if I, if I turn the tweezers this way, but nobody can, that's too weird, it's, I have to hold tweezers here. So that's a no. Looked like a great idea, but unfortunately for diamond painting, it doesn't work. So a clear winner out of these three, uh, these ones, and these are advertised as for eyebrows, splinters and blackheads. So I would suggest if you're going to use them for blackheads that you wash them before you diamond paint. But they definitely work for diamond painting. Nice and comfortable. They work um, just as well as the ones that I normally use. So they get a definite thumbs up. Um, the reverse ones are advertised as craft tweezers. For diamond painting, 
it is really awkward. Um, they put a lot of pressure on the drill, which, as I was saying earlier, is not what you want to do. Basically, when you're using tweezers, you want just enough pressure to pick the drill up and no more. The harder you squeeze it, the more chance it's going to ping. And you could see that's what was happening. So they're too strong for diamond painting. So the last one, um, this is advertised for uh, crafts, everything from crafts to splinter removal. A really good idea, I really like the idea. Um, I'm holding this and you can see the tweezers and you can see the magnification, but I'm holding it here. The tweezers are here. So when I put my hand down to where I want it to be, the position's all wrong. Um, if there had been mega long tweezers, <laughs> maybe, um, it, it would work there. You can see, but because of where it is, I have to press those really, really hard because it's right at the back of the tweezer. So, practically for diamond painting, not going to work. So, uh, one out of three ain't bad. Um, yeah, I was a bit disappointed because I thought the reverse tweezers could come in really handy for some people where you don't have to hold the pressure as much or as long basically pick it up let them go they hold the drill um, it doesn't work they are just too strong and um, they, they squeeze really hard which for most things probably is a good thing for diamond painting definitely not um, it's going to ping and uh, that is not what you want. So that's a pity. Um, the tweezers with magnifying glass and the light, again, I thought that's a great idea. For people who struggle to see small things, they can use the magnifying glass. And people who don't use a light pad, you've got a light so you can see exactly what you're doing. The light is pointed straight at the drill. I thought that is going to be good. It wasn't. Um, can't get the the glass to the right angle where it would work for diamond painting so unfortunately that was a fail um, but at least one of them worked um, these so as I said they were for eyebrows splinters and blackheads so you get three in the kit you could have one for diamond painting one for your eyebrows and the black one for blackheads makes sense so that's it thanks for watching uh, just something a little bit different if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more uh, unboxings unbaggings comparisons and other things that i might find somewhere i'm always looking for things that are different uh, i think it makes the videos interesting instead of getting the same thing all the time so anyway, if you're interested in any of that or maybe catching me live on YouTube Live, please subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do that, you will get a notification either when I go live or when a new video comes up. And I still have a lot of things to unbag or unbox. So, um, yeah. And there are some things that, again, are different. So hopefully you'll join me and uh, see what I get up to. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.